Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, mag tayo how to divide whole numbers by decimal numbers. So first example na then is 48 divided by 500 equals n. So how to divide a whole number by a decimal number? So first, let us rewrite them. Okay, sa form na makakapag-long method division tayo. So, let us rewrite 48 divided by 0 0.05 or 500. Okay, next, in dividing whole numbers by a decimal number, any number by a decimal number, kailangan po, si divisor natin ay walang decimal point. Okay, para mas madali tayong makapag-divide. So, we have here a decimal point. So, we need to I transform this decimal point. Okay, lilipat natin siya sa dulo. Okay, to make the decimal number a whole number. So, let's move two decimal places to the right. Okay, kasi nandito we have two digits. Okay, so magmumove tayo ng two decimal places. So, 0, 0, 005, 0 0.05 will become 5. Okay, mamawala na yung dalawang zero. So, unahin niya kasi hindi naman na natin siya binabasa. Okay, kapag ang decimal point natin ay nasa dulo. And kung ano po yung ginawa natin sa left side ng ating uh, expression, ganun din yung gagawin natin dito sa right side. So, si 48, kapag whole number, ang decimal point nito ay laging nasa dulo. So, maglalagay tayo sa dulo. Then, since nag-move tayo ng two decimal places to the right, Ganun din yung gagawin natin kay 48. From the decimal point, we will move two places to the right. Okay, so by moving two places, napunta na sa dulo sa decimal point, at meron tayo dito dalawang places na walang laman. So, ano yung gagawin natin? We will add two zeros, okay, para mabuo yung ating uh, number. So, si 48 now will become 4,800. So, this is now our new equation or expression. Okay? So, ano na yung gagawin natin? We can now divide. Since wala ng decimal point, si divisor. So, 4 divided by 5 cannot be. So, we will use 48. 48 divided by 5. How many, 40, how many 5s are there in 48? We have... Okay, 9. 9 times 5, that is 45. Subtract. 48 minus 45, that is 3. Bring down 0. Okay, so saan nagaling si 0 dito? Bring down natin. So, 30 divided by 5, that is 6 times 5, that is 30. 30 minus 30 is 0. Okay, so since meron pa tayong isang 0 na hindi pa nagamit, Okay, so kukopyay na lang natin siya sa taas. Kasi kapag binring down natin ito, 0 divided by 5, ang sagot pa rin ay 0 times 5, 0. So, 0. Wala na tayong ibibring down. So, yun yung last. Okay, so the answer here for 48 divided by 500 is 960. Okay, so how do we check if our answer is correct? So, we will just multiply our quotient. Ito, yung quotient natin, yung sagot sa ating divisor. So, 960. So, let us now check. Checking 960 times 5. 0 times 5 is 0. 5 times 6 is 30. Carry 3. 5 times 9 is 45. Plus 3, that is 48. So, our answer here is 48. So, is it the same? Okay, is it the same with our... A dividend, pareho ba siya dito? So, kapag naging pareho ang sagot, ibig sabihin, our answer is correct. Okay? So, that is how we divide whole numbers by a decimal number. Okay, so for example, number 2, we have 64 divided by 200. So, again, we need to rewrite our equation, okay, sa long method form ng division. So, 64 divided by 0 0.02 or 200. So, ililipat natin si decimal point sa dulo. So, ilang movement? 1, 2. So, nag-move tayo ng 2 movements. So, dito, since walang decimal point, maglalagay tayo sa dulo. 
Move rin tayo ng 2 movements. Okay, then, walang laman, we will add 2 zeros. Then, rewrite. So, this will become 6,400 divided by 2. Okay, so, bakit po 2 na lang? Kasi, di ba nga, yung 0 0.02, naging 0, 002 na. So, si 0, 0, 002, kapag binasa natin, nabasa lang naman po natin dyan, ay 2. So, kapag sinulat natin, siya 2 na lang. Okay, so wala na tayong decimal point sa divisor, so we will now proceed to division. 6 divided by 2, that is 3 times 2, that is 6. 6 minus 6, 0, bring down 4. Divided by 2, that is 2, times 2, that is 4. Minus 0. Okay, this time, 0 na tayo dito. May dalawa pa tayong zeros na ibibring down. So again, kapag binring down natin yung 2 zeros na yan, Ang sagot lang rin ay magiging zeros. So, ang gagawin na lang natin, ililipat na lang natin yung two zeros sa taas, okay, to make our long method solution uh, a little bit shorter. So, medyo pinaiksi na natin. Okay, so our final answer here is 3,200. So, again, how do we check if our answer is correct? So, our quotient, 3,200, multiply by our device. Sorry, 2. 0 times 2, that's 0. 0 times 2, 0. 2 times 2, 4. 3 times 2 is 6. So, dahil pareho sila ng ating dividend, therefore, our answer here is correct. Okay? So, binibilisan natin ha, para hindi masyadong humaba yung ating lesson. So, for our last example, we have 50 divided by 2500. Okay, so 50 divided by 2,500. So again, let us rewrite. 50 divided by 2,500. So let us move the decimal point to the right. Okay, two movements. So from here, let's move two movements. So 50 will become 5,000. Uh, and 2,500 will become 25. Okay, so let us now proceed to... Division, so 50 divided by 25 is 2, times 25, that is 50. 50 minus 50, that is 0. Meron pa tayong dalawang 0 sa natira, so iakyat lang natin sila. Okay, so let us now do checking. So, ano yung quotient natin? 200 multiplied by the divisor, 25. 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 2, that's 10. 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 2 is 4. So, let us now add 0, 0, 0, 5. So, 5,000. So, pareho dito. So, therefore, our answer is correct. Okay, class. So, ganyan lang kasimple yung ating uh, pagdi-divide ng whole numbers by decimal numbers. So, I hope na nirefresh tayo at meron na naman tayo mga bagong natutunan sa ating lesson this morning. Thank you so much for watching!